In this video, we will show you how to create a graphic which will be used to create a layered pop art portrait. Open the graphic in your preferred design program. We are using Coral Draw. Begin by desaturating the graphic. This makes it grayscale, making it easier to process. Next, adjust the brightness and contrast settings according to how much shadow you want your graphic to have. Selecting Posterize allows you to set the number of gradients for your image according to your preference. This will determine the number of acrylic layers. Choose Trace Bitmap which allows you to play with the settings depending on how much detail you would like in your graphic. Doing this will create one solid graphic. Ungroup Objects as this allows you to begin working on separate layers. Select and copy your image. From this create new layers, pasting a copy of the image into each one and renaming the tab accordingly. Start by working on the white layer. Add a red outline which allows you to see the graphic while still leaving the unnecessary sections. This red outline will later serve as the cut line for laser processing. Delete the parts of the white you don't want to cut by deleting nodes and joining the ends of shapes together. This will create one solid graphic. To achieve this, repeat the process throughout the layer. Group the objects to create a finished white layer. Start working on the grey layer. This is the most time consuming because you have to join the white and grey areas as this forms the base for the white material in your final product. Repeat the steps as with the white graphic, starting with the red outline. Ungroup objects as this allows you to begin working on separate layers. Delete and join nodes accordingly, removing the pieces you don't need cutting to create a solid shape to work with. Repeat this process throughout the layer. Leave the colour on the different areas as this helps you to distinguish what needs processing. Here you can see that after deleting the inner of the face, we are left with separate shapes around the edges. These are combined to make a solid layer. At this point in the process, use the full image layer as a reference point to ensure that your image is correct. From this you can see if there are any necessary amends needed. Remember the graphic you are creating is composed of the parts of the material you want to cut out. When you are at the stage where your grey layer is complete, ensure that it is colour filled so that you can see the full effect of what you will be left with. Group the layer to ensure that nothing is accidentally moved. Start working on the black layer, repeating the previous processes of deleting unnecessary objects and joining the leftover objects. As the black layer is the base layer, it is the least detailed. Any internal features such as the eye in this example are formed by using the cut pieces out of the white or grey material. Ensure that when joining any outer lines, you use a straight line tool to make sure the graphic has a clean edge. Fill the complete graphic with the colour of the material you will be using. To ensure that all of your layers are correct and align, drag the full image to the side and copy and paste the individual layers in order to compare them against the full image. Once you are happy with your finished layers, delete the reference graphic. At this point, make any final changes to the nodes according to how smooth you want the laser cut edges to be. This part of the tutorial is down to your personal preference. When you are happy with every layer, remove all colour fills and ensure that the outline is a red hairline for processing with your Trotec laser. Now you need to create a background layer. Create a new page and rename it. Enter a size that corresponds to your requirements. Using the rulers as guides, create an even border around the graphic to allow you to accurately position the holes for hanging your finished artwork. Create a circle and resize accordingly. 
Copy and paste the circle using the Align tool to ensure that both holes will be suitably placed. Repeat this process for the bottom two holes. Copy and paste your holes into each graphic page to ensure that any layers which will cover them will have holes to cut out accordingly. Add a background colour which will correspond to your material. Paste your background graphic into the full image layer and send it to the back, ensuring that it lines up with your image to give you a visual of what the completed workpiece will look like when processed. At this stage make sure all layers to be laser processed are without colour and have a red hairline. Your file is now complete and ready for processing.